A UPS or uninterrupted power supply is an absolute must to protect your home lab servers and hardware. Their entire job is not only to condition the power feeding the systems, but also keep your systems running when the power goes out. Unfortunately, a few major power outages and your sealed lead acid batteries could be shot, and buying a retail replacement is expensive. So when your batteries are dead or dying, why not just replace them yourself? This is the battery cartridge for my APC SmartUps X2200 UPS. It is the UPS that protects 2 Tech entire home lab. A few months back, we had a string of just absolutely nasty power edges that destroyed the life of the batteries inside, and now they need to be replaced. Checking online, I found that the average retail replacement goes for around 380 bucks, and for a home labber, that feels like a lot. So we're gonna do it ourselves and save some cash. After all, inside this metal box is just a bunch of batteries in series, so let's get to it. Removing the cartridge from the UPS is super simple. We first remove the thumb screws that hold the retention bracket into place. Next, we disconnect the power connector for the battery. Then we pull out our battery cartridge. As a word of caution, these things can be super heavy. In our case, our cartridge is 50 pounds, so be careful. Before we can order replacement batteries, we need to find out exactly what model of battery is used within. Different UPSs use different batteries, so if you're planning to do this, make sure you check what model of battery you need. Let's crack this guy open and see what we find. The APC RBC 117 cartridge our UPS uses opens up pretty easily by removing just a few Phillips screws around the top cover, then sliding it off. Inside the cartridge, after we remove a few bits of insulating plastic, we find the 10 batteries inside our Leoch DJW12 5.4 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries. Let's check on Amazon to see what we can get replacement batteries for. A quick search on Amazon finds a good replacement for $22.79 each or $227.90 with free shipping to our door. That's a savings of $152 over buying an OEM replacement from CDW. And here are the replacement batteries. These are sealed lead acid batteries and they don't require any maintenance but you should absolutely recycle them. So once we've replaced all the old failed batteries, we'll make a trip to our local recycler and drop them off. Typically it's free to drop off batteries like these because there's still a lot of value left in them for recyclers and all of the components inside can be reclaimed and reused to make even more batteries. No matter what you do, just don't throw them in the trash. Make sure you check your local area to find where you can drop off batteries like these for recycle. Let's get to the replacement now. Take your time and be careful when you do this. Your old batteries still have power left in them, and if you're not careful with the terminals and leads, you could cause an arc. Also, pay close attention to how the batteries are connected together. Connecting the wiring incorrectly could at a minimum cause a spark, or at a maximum could cause the battery to overheat and possibly explode. Working with electricity is dangerous, even though this is direct current, so take your time and be careful. When all of the batteries are connected in series, they'll total around 130 volts. We'll be replacing one battery at a time to make sure we get each battery connected back the correct way and not disturb the wiring too much inside. Now that we've got the new batteries installed, let's put the lid back on, check the voltage, and install the cartridge back into our UPS. Before we go and put the cartridge back into the UPS and connect it, we need to check and make sure we're seeing correct voltage on the connector. The logic here is that if we have something cabled incorrectly or a connection has come disconnected, we'll see something strange at the connector. For this, we'll use a simple voltmeter and connect it to the lead connections in the interface. And we see about 130 volts DC. That's exactly what we should see for this, so we're good to install it in the UPS. Last step is to insert the battery cartridge back into the UPS, connect it up, tell the UPS that this is a brand new battery, and away we go. The entire project took about an hour start to finish, and it was super easy to do. The new battery has been in the UPS now for a little over 24 hours, so it should be fully topped off and ready to go. Let's log into the remote management card on our UPS and check the status of the battery. We'll head over to the status page of the UPS and check the battery status. The battery looks good, 100% charged, and the voltage looks great. Let's run a self-test just to make sure all is well, and we'll call this thing good. We'll head over to the tests and then UPS, select UPS self-test, and run the test. We'll refresh the page and it shows it passed the self-test. I'd say everything's good to go. One final thing, because we believe it's absolutely important that you recycle those batteries, we're gonna bring you along while we drop them off. 
And with that, thank you for watching this video. We genuinely hope you found it valuable and we'd love to know what you think, so tell us in the comments below. Is this something you can see yourself doing? We would love to know. If this is the first time you've seen us, subscribe, get down there right now. If you like what we do here and you wanna be all social, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And lastly, get on our Discord. It's a great growing community of people who love tech and we would be happy to have you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again soon.